So when her mother come in, she says, where's Summer? She went down in the basement. She didn't answer, so she went down there and she was gone. So she went out the basement door, which was unlocked, and we haven't seen her since. This morning, Donald Wells spoke on camera for the first time since his daughter disappeared. Please let Summer be okay. And please come home. He says it's unlikely Summer would leave the house on her own. Wells says the last time anyone in the family saw Summer was when she entered the house to play in the basement after gardening with her mother and grandmother. Wells also spoke about his gut feeling about Summer's whereabouts. Some bad person grabbed her, but we have no idea. Wells says law enforcement have covered leads on area sex offenders and drug addicts. We're trying to think, beat her brains out. We're covered everything that we can think of already. Investigators say they have followed up on 85 tips so far. Wells says he is overwhelmed by the massive numbers of personnel on site. We just really appreciate everybody trying to help that they have, law enforcement and uh, all these volunteers that are here. The five-year-old disappeared from her home in a remote area of Hawkins County 29 days ago. Don Wells tells the Kingsport Times News that he is 100% sure his daughter was abducted, likely by someone hiding in the woods. He also says that there is a good chance that she is not alive. He also says he's been frustrated by search efforts. Wells says it was so horrific knowing that someone abducted her and the cops are looking all around our house knowing that she's not there. I wish the police would have blocked off both ends of Beach Creek. I can't blame them, but I'm upset. It's too little, too late now. Wells tells the paper he was so upset he couldn't take a lie detector test for two days after the disappearance and that Summer's mother was made to wait five days before being tested. He says they passed the tests but could still be under suspicion. This is what else Wells tells the Times News, quote, I don't know if we were completely cleared because that's not admissible in court. Summer's mother Candace was at a prayer vigil for her daughter last night in Kingsport. She tells us she's hanging in there and keeping busy with her three boys. The TBI has received more than a thousand tips in the case, but officials say they still don't know what led to Summer's disappearance. Today, the TBI turned off the digital Amber Alert sign on highway signs. The agency says there's no set time for Amber Alerts to remain on those signs because each case is different. some idea of where the case is headed and what might have happened within a few days. With no luck, the ground search ended weeks later. That's when her mother spoke on camera for the first time about the moment her daughter went missing. I yelled downstairs for her a couple times and I didn't get no answer, which was unusual because usually she always answers me. And so I went down there to check and she was nowhere in sight. The following month, Summer's older brothers were removed from their home. In October, Summer's father was arrested for a DUI. I have lost control. I've done stupid things, and for that I apologize. That was after filming a Dr. Phil special that aired in November. She's looked at trigger after trigger after trigger and not a tear. Planned searches happened throughout the winter months, and in February, Don Wells was jailed for violating his probation. We're not cooperating right now. They have attorneys. Months later, as we approach the one year mark, what happened to Summer Wells remains a mystery. We're not leaning one way or the other. Anything credible that comes in, we will look into. 
like I said, we've gone through hours and hours and hours of interviews, of video footage, of electronic data, just trying to find a specific direction to go in towards. Uh, nothing has narrowed that down, so everything, as the sheriff has said, is still on the table. It's really important to us to not focus all of our efforts on just one of those two. We think that the only way we'll be successful in finding Summer is to continue to walk down both of those investigative paths to ensure that we don't become focused on one area alone and miss something that's crucially important. I would say this case has not gone cold. A cold case is typically framed up as a case where there are no tips or leads that are coming in and there are no investigative efforts that are happening because there is there is no there is no place to travel with the investigation. I would say in this case, thanks to the public, we've continued to have tips and leads that have come in that agents have been able to follow up on continuously. And the agents have worked tirelessly when tips and leads weren't coming in to try to find ways to investigate when typically people would lay down their effort. It has been a great partnership between the community and law enforcement to not let this case sit and go sterile. We continue to focus on ground search efforts. We continue to focus on interviews of those who may have information about vehicles that have traveled through the area or technology that could have been used that may give us an investigative lead. Um, all stones are being turned over. Um, there's not one thing that's being done. We've been extremely creative as we've investigated this case and continue to try to find ways to turn over rocks that we didn't even know that were there to turn over. Children are our top priority at TBI. They are the most vulnerable population that we have. They're our most precious things in our world. TBI has always placed an emphasis on missing children, and we've done that through multiple programs that are established here. We look for children when most people aren't. I will fucking kill you if I find you, bitch. 
I promise you. You know, Don, that's... If a, I find you, you, know you, I will kill you, you know motherfucker. You. This is no, no, no. Hey, you need to call the cops right now. Yeah. For Please what? call the cops no, I'm and not, tell them I'm not gonna call that them. if I find you... I will kill you. Right. Well, you'll call them you now. That you can go to call my probation. Them. Hey, don't forget. Don't forget. Yeah. Yeah. Call my probation officer. I'm not going to do that. Call my probation officer. I, I want you to. I don't want to. Because I'm afraid that if I find you, I'm going to kill you, John. Uh, I'm not with you. I would. I will do it. I will stick a knife right in your throat. <laughs>